what I was started thinking about first for this exhibition was actually this addiction to narrative, how we always have got absorbed in stories, whether it be a book or a movie or a game. And I'm trying to look at that contemporary art narrative and that sort of mindset that one comes through a contemporary art exhibition and somewhat disrupt that. You know, try and circumvent the need to look to the curatorial essay first. You know, really just go for full-on process of discovery in the hope that there's more individual experience, more individual ideas of narrative built up. But then in the end, kind of deconstruct that narrative. I mean, there's nothing here finishes. No narratives end. Everything just goes around and around and around. The, you know, hopefully raise that desire for a complete narrative, but then frustrate it. In a, in a way, I'd say my process is kind of like a modernist traditional art process. You know, take the material and see what it will do. But my idea of what the material is, I think if you take a genuine look at contemporary society, the material is now uh, a lot of imported crap from third world countries. Um, and a lot of uh, somewhat accessible technological items. And you know, that really is the material of society today. So we're all dependent on this sort of modular makeup. And so I just choose these modules of you know, crap furniture that are generally available to us all. That's just, the, that's just the module I choose instead of a tube of paint. And then I try and see what, you know, a bit of technology, a cheap camera and a chair will do.